Yes. Good day, everyone. Welcome to a little impromptu anti-religious scripture study part two. And this is Lila Tove because it's the functional dark time. Right. <clears throat> and we're live on YouTube's right now. Yes, we are live on YouTube's right now, and I have your sc your photos up on the screen or sharing your photos that you took. Awesome. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to find you. Uh, let's see. Unveiling this realm. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, see I want to get. I want to get in here and see if there's people in the live chat. There's a couple. Okay. I'm just going there. <laughs> cool, man. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> so. Happy New Year! <laughs> um, me and my family, we went out to look for the moon, and um, we were trying to find a location that was higher elevation with a clear shot of the western sky in order to spot the moon. Uh, but on the way out, my wife realized that she forgot to fill her tank uh, for Shabbat, which is something that we typically do. But um, as Karen knows, we had a rough um, sixth day of the week this year. I mean, this week. So, um, it was the last day of the year was a rough one for us. So, we are uh, so thankful that we were able to spot it. And it was in the gas station parking lot. Um, I was telling my wife, like, you know, we need to hurry up as soon as the sun sets, get the gas. We need to get to a high elevation so we can actually spot the moon. And Gabriel's like, he's one of my sons. He says, I see the moon right now. I'm like, what? Really? And we get out of the get out of the vehicles in the parking lot of the gas station, and we're just looking in the sky, and there it is. It's clear as clear as day, but not really, right? Because it's nighttime ish. Mm -hmm. um, but it was right at right at sunset, 7:50 in my area. And uh, as soon as I got my camera out, I realized there's not an SD card in my camera. Well. Anybody who knows about P900s, they don't work if you don't have an SD card in it. You can't take pictures. You can't right. take videos. Nothing. Right. Um, so I rushed to the drugstore because it was now 750. The sun had set. Rushed to the drugstore, get a memory card, come back to the parking lot, and the clouds had completely covered the moon. And so I called Karen, and I said, Karen, look, I, I would really like to do just a impromptu, you know, live, um, you know, even if you want to use my, you know, my me on speakerphone, you know, and you were like, well, it takes like 20 minutes to set up anyway. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well then we'll just wait till like, there's no more possibility of spotting the moon. Maybe I can get a couple of good shots by then. So I'm sitting in the parking lot and it drops below the tree line or it assumedly drops below the tree line. Cause I can't see it. Right. It's behind this, this uh, cloud bank. So we drive a little bit further up the road and there was a lot that was cleared for a future commercial property that's going in and we could see the western sky and it's like okay cool we'll sit here so we were watching below the 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 cloud bank and watching 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 it's getting closer and closer to moonset time and i'm like okay well you know it's probably not going to be able to be seen because of the clouds and uh so um mr j a friend of ours um spotted sirius and he says hey well they're serious and i'm like well, cool. I'm, it, it may not be a total waste of the night because I love the way Sirius looks when it's out of focus and uh, in a video because it, it's like a, a rainbow strobe. It's very cool looking. So, you know, I caught Sirius and my uh, my son's new wife was there. So she got to see zooming in on the, the star for the first time. And lo and behold, as I was recording Sirius, he's like, there's the moon. And boom, right there. Bright as could be, as you can see in these pictures, I got the whole, you know, encompassing uh, shape and shadows of the, the I don't want to say craters because it's not craters. The patterns on the moon were able to be spotted by my P900, and I was very excited to get some shots of it because it was great for us to have eight witnesses and, and see it. It was fantastic. Like, Happy New Year, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wanted to share it. I wanted to share pictures of it because, you know, for me, it's a big deal. This is the beginning of the year. And uh, Jay-Z said the moon looks sweet tonight. Um, 
couldn't get a pick either. Yep. But I got I got a few. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully. Right um, yeah, I praise Yah that I was able to spot it and that I had a, a good camera. You know, that was a gift from my wife back in 2015. Praise Yah for that. Um, <clears throat> but it's funny because there's a whole group of people that are not starting the new year. And this is, you know, more about my perspective on things, which I failed to mention earlier because, you know, it, it didn't come up. But um, earlier today, there's a lot of people that are saying, well, the moon wasn't spotted in Jerusalem specifically or in Israel specifically because there was overcast. So even if you see the moon tonight, it's not there. And I think that's like a huge logical fallacy. If you spot the moon, <laughs> regardless of if anybody else sees it, it doesn't matter. If I see it, I see it. The, well, the why year would you be worried about tomorrow. what they see in a completely different part of the world anyway? Well, see, the, the, you know, the, a lot of people have an understanding that the Torah was given to the Israelite people who were in the land uh, eventually of Israel. But what we were reading today, what was delivered to them about the calendar, they weren't even in Israel. They were in Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. They're in Egypt, and he says, look up there in the sky. This is the beginning of the Kodesh for you, right? Mm -hmm. So that doesn't matter. And they were in the wilderness, you know, the Judean desert, you know, for 40 years. And obviously they still kept track of time. It's not like they're like, Oh, 40 years from now, we're going to start keeping track of time. That makes no logical sense. But there are people who specifically want a testimony of a moon in Israel. But I'm telling you, I saw the stinking moon. I don't care what Israel saw. I'm talking about what I saw with my own eyes. All right. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter to a lot of people, but it is this contention within, you know, people that have their different ideas of calendars. So some people said, well, the moon wasn't spotted in Israel. So even if you see the moon, you don't see it like pfft, whatever. I actually had a lady say that to my daughter when she was young. And I was like, don't teach my daughter to lie to herself. That's oh my ridiculous. Gosh. Why would, yeah. Why would you ever say that? That's so silly. Yeah. She's like, what do you see there? And my my daughter was like, the moon, it's the new month. And she was like, no, you don't see the moon because it wasn't spotted in Israel. And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> you don't teach my daughter that crap. <laughs> so happy new year, y'all. <laughs> All right. Yes. Happy new year. New moon sighted. That does look like 3% to me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I just had to share it with y'all, you know, um, I hope that uh, y'all have a, a, a wonderful new year. May you be blessed. May your eyes be open to what the creator has in store for you. May you be connected to the spiritual realm with great power and authority. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. Take care, y'all. All right. See y'all later.